and then let go, okay? So the doesn't injure their, their skin, okay? We'll record that. The next one will be <clears throat> the chest. The chest is done here. Your arm, your fingers are here on the individual, not here, okay? We want you to be appropriate with your client, okay? Make them feel more comfortable. So they will feel, uh, this, this one is a little bit more uncomfortable for most of them, so uh, we will do it this way. It is a diagonal pinch, okay? A diagonal fold and a diagonal pinch, okay? So as you can see, the, the fold in the, in the skin here is diagonally folded, all right? <clears throat> you take that measurement and you put that one down. The middle auxiliary is a vertical pinch. Again, grab that skin. Okay, make sure that you're getting a, a good amount of skin when you do that. Okay, and let go. All right, everybody with me? The next one is subscapula. <clears throat> It's the one we took back here. It is a diagonal pinch, okay? See, the fold is diagonal, and you're going to take that diagonal pinch. This is the correct measurement of a diagonal pinch. This is not. You can't read the, the numbers on the, uh, the label here when you do it that way. This is the correct way, okay? So you can get, see those accurate numbers there. The next one is <clears throat> suprailiac, okay? Again, we come here on the body, all right? We stay to the side. We don't go in front, all right? It is another diagonal pinch. So as you can see, the diagonal fold here in the skin, diagonal fold, diagonal measurement, uh, and then let go, okay? The next one is the abdominal pinch. Okay, stay again to the side as much as possible. All right, grab that skin. And it is a vertical pinch, okay? So you saw the vertical fold in the, the skin, vertical pinch, all right? The next one is the thigh. It is a vertical fold and pinch as well, okay? So again, Grab a hold of that skin, kind of pull it away from the muscle, all right, and get that, that measurement there, okay? And then we go through the whole thing a second time and a third time, okay? So that's how you get seven-sight skin fold measurements. Thank you.